1974 Pantera. It's got um, body panels on it from Klein Peters old IMSA car. And they had two cars like that. Klein Peters car is now burned up in Atlanta. This one's a one-off car, still available. It was given to a NASCAR guy who went ahead and put a tube frame in it, put all NASCAR suspension, no deep to miles anymore. Wow. Uh, NASCAR brakes. Uh, the engine's a 321 Cleveland, four bolt, uh, 10, 10, 10 thousandths oversized. We didn't want to really clean it up. And the, uh, it's a dry sump engine. So we run Daytona, I run Sebring. It's, we know we always have oil. You know, all right, the sure. Oil. But uh, the car is mainly used for uh, uh, high speed uh, training at, at the Porsche Club or just to run fun events in uh, it's not a race car, it's not used for racing, but it could be if somebody had the, the balls to do it. And it's a street legal car? It's got a Florida title to it, <laughs> it's insured, but you can't run these tires oh, okay. on the street. The exhaust a little loud. <laughs> you mean these cannons right yeah. here, these howitzers yeah. you have? Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they don't quite, you know, give you any fight. Yeah, it could be converted back to street legal. Right. It's just like, you know, to do. Now the AccuSump was put in here, so when you crank this engine up, you got three fourths of oil shooting into that engine before you have to start. Wow. Using it. And that saves it. That's uh, that's comforting to say the least. And also, if you're on the track and you lose oil pressure, it'll shoot in three fourths, give you time to get off the track, shut it down. Oh wow, pressure. very cool. But, uh, so is is the is it a Pantera frame or has that been no. completely? Uh... No, that, the frame is completely a tube frame, front to back. Wow. Uh, EJ Trevet, who's a the NASCAR guy who did it, he said, Dave, when you get finished with the car, you can go into turn three, crash right into it, and walk away. Wow. I said, I don't want to do that, EJ. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can tell me that. But That you know, is really something, you, though. You notice the frame goes front to rear, all solid. Yep. And uh, the car's going to drop two inches to do that. Wow. We had that when we went dry stump, we had to grab the inches with a back of the inch to see the space for them because then we had to go to the CV axles because right. the Spicer axles wouldn't take to the you know, Oh, I see, because the wheels are, the, the center line of the wheels is actually ahead of the, yep. the ZF transaxle. And the Spicer wheel joints wouldn't take them. So and you had to do that because you tech, you had to push the engine yeah. back? When, when EJ made the, the frame, we gave him a stock engine so he knew where the crank was and everything. But we built the engine, we built it as a dry sump, which means I've got a big dry sump pump up there. In, in and front, it, right. And it moved it back an inch, so we had a I see. spacer in here. Right. And it was a... Uh, oh yeah, there's a yeah. spacer. And you so, can see it's not completely straight in a line. No, not at all. And, like that, and does that, <laughs> that doesn't do anything to the, um, the transference of power? No. Yeah? Not at all, it's just... Uh, uh, it's just really amazing how, like, every part of the geometry is completely adjusted. Yeah, you can see all the NASCAR frames. There's nothing to do with Pantera at all. Wow. Wow. So, really, this is just, just a Pantera in engine and in body. And, and ZF. And ZF, right, right. And oh, the shifter. Pantera. Oh, very cool, very cool. And up front, let me show you. Yeah, let's take a look. Take a look how wide this thing is. How you doing? How you doing? Those are slicks, people. And that's a anti roll bar right there. How do you like that for a twister? And just look how how it sits. It sits so nice. Ah, oh, so badass. Here we go. There you go. That's a beauty right there. That's a NASCAR 22 gallon fuel cylinder. Wow. Inside the bladder. 22 so gallons. And when we run uh, Daytona or run Sebring. We usually go through five gallons every half hour. Wow. So it, it sucks it up. The engine sucks it up. Wow. That's amazing. But, uh, it's, Put the know, fluidine radiator. I got one of those. And the thing is, we, when we're going to Daytona and so forth, the temperature gauge of the engine is the same temperature gauge of the water. It's 180 degrees. It's just, yeah. They're really you know, set up to That's awesome. run even. So we, don't, we never have any overheating problem. And so these arches are just cut out. Completely, you don't, yeah, you don't see, have to worry the about the spray. Got, got his tube frame coming through. Right, all so the way up to, wow. So, so. All the way up front and around. It's a fun car. Do the headlights work? Yes. 
In fact, if you notice, there's a pin there. Yeah. So they're not lifted. You pull the pin, set them up, and put the pin back in. Ah, very cool. Uh, a lot easier. Yeah. I don't took... worry about that motor. Yeah, oh my God. Or the limit switches don't work. Oh, man, those things. I think when Sharky replaced mine, he took out the old one. It looked like one of those things that they uh, they measure the strength of earthquakes with. <laughs> it's got like a rheostat in it with a needle, and it says Milan. You know, that's a problem. Anything made over there. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. How you doing? This is where the boss man sits. This is control center. Wow. And what kind of horsepower are you getting out of this? We're, we're engine? 9 we got 614. 614. Yeah. And the ZF can handle that pretty much, no problem. No problem, you know. I run a uh, cooler for the ZF, and I run a cooler for the engine. Wow. So it holds it. Nice. About 180. Nice. And that's my radiator right there. That little that's guy. Tank. That's your overflow tank. So I you, dude, I've got it. I've got it where um, <laughs> Ford runs you through a tank, runs you up front, runs you back. Right. We don't. We run straight up to come back and treat that as a radiator. <laughs> So gotcha. it runs this great. Wow, that's awesome. It's really just so nice. It yeah, looks it's good. I mean, like, it, it just looks fast. Well, there's, there's a guy that puts the car, the picture of the car next to, like, the yellow one. Yeah. You couldn't believe how low this was. Oh, right? yeah. This looked low. This has got to, I mean, this is really low. 16 inch wheels versus a 15 inch, so. It's not yep. that much difference there, but it's not expensive to get dropped to Right. Inches. No, it looks awesome. It's got basically no no uh, suspension travel to speak of to any great extent, right? It's flat. <laughs> it's flat. Fact, when you go to YouTube and look at our in-car in, in cameras and so forth, yeah. videos, um, you see us going through turns and so forth, and that wheel is just straight. doesn't shake or anything. Really? You know. That's awesome. And people come over and look at the car and says, my gosh. I said, yeah, it does not have a stock Pantera suspension to it. Really? It's all NASCAR. So yeah, that's amazing. The brakes are all NASCAR. So. Awesome. This is the guy that's right the guy here, huh? Yeah, Fort Myers. Wow. Just look at this roll cage. It's just amazing. What's that, uh, that central, is that like a shift light? Yeah, the one right here? Yeah. It's set to 6,500. 6,500. Seven, seven grand. <laughs> That's the seven grand switch to gear light. And that little handle coming out there? Yeah, what's that? That's my turn signal. <laughs> yeah, return, See yeah, this little thing? Wheel, just turn it one way that over. thing right there. Yeah. I can get that, 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 that little <laughs> thing right there. That's, turn That's his turn signal. And then you got what you got scotch, you got whiskey, and then you got gin. Is that how it works? Uh, the two on the other side are all gin, and this one's scotch. And this got side. it, got it, got it, got it. You want to ease into it. Yeah. I, I see. I and understand. then we've got brake bias down here, so when you're driving, you can say, okay, where do I need to adjust the brakes? Oh, wow. Now? One brakes in the front, one brakes in the back. Oh, you've got that's amazing. That knob, that oh, my God. <laughs> that is awesome. So you could like uh, you could do like Pike's Peak or something with this and spin it around the corners, That's putting the brakes in. <laughs> A professional guy, maybe could do it. That is so cool. A knob to go from front bias to rear bias on yeah. the brakes. That's amazing. Yeah, we've got it. When you run Daytona, you don't need as much brakes as you do when you run the seat brake. Right, sure. Is, is, Constantly you know, braking. Always turning. Yeah. And only the infield at Daytona you have to worry about that. So right. You know set it up differently but you get out there and drive it track come back and readjust and take it again and feel right. okay, I've got it down wow that's down. awesome well, David Archibald, thank you very much for the history lesson and the, the detail. This car caught me for the second I saw it at Sebring. I literally wanted to put these wheel archers on my car, like, immediately. I have the GTS with the riveted um, fender flares, and this was like, this is what a Pantera should be. This is how wide it should be. This is how low it should be. And this is how fast it should be, quite honestly. <laughs> so, um, what's the YouTube uh, uh, site uh, to see the videos of the car in action? FLA Sun State. FLA Sun State. Yeah, okay, cool. Word. 
All right, very good. Well, thanks so much for giving us a well, little tour of the car. No, this is amazing. I mean, Southeast Pantera's community, like if you want to go completely insane, this is your poster car, right? Here. <laughs> okay. This is how it's done, my friends. All right. Thanks again. Really appreciate it. All right. Take care.